All right, so uh, this time we're going to be using substitution uh, to solve this equation. We're going to factor it. So this is a factoring technique called substitution, or maybe it's called U substitution. Uh, it just depends on who you ask. So the reason I know to use it is because I've got a trinomial, and the, the exponent on the first term is a 4, and the exponent on the second term is a 2. Whenever this exponent is twice this exponent, um, I know to look for uh, factoring by substitution. So what we're going to do is we're going to have u equal x squared. All right? It's just that, you know, that term right there. And then we're going to rewrite this in terms of u. So it's going to be a 2u. Instead of to the fourth power, it's going to be to the second power. All right? The reason why, if you look at u squared here, that just means you're squaring this. So x squared times x squared will be x to the fourth. All right, u squared is my x to the fourth. Minus 7u minus 15. All right, now to uh, see if it will factor, we'll have to use that, you know, the old x method. Okay, so I've got uh, 2 times negative 15 is negative 30. And they have to subtract to give me negative 7. Well, let's see here. 1 and 30, nope. 2 and 15, nope. 3 and 10, yes. All right. Uh, 3 minus 10 gives us the negative 7. All right. So because this is negative, I know the sign of the bigger number between those two has to be negative. And the 3 will be positive. Okay, so we've got... Huh. Well, I guess I already knew it was going to be a 2u, didn't I? That's the only way you can multiply to get that. Uh, let's see. We have to divide each of these by 2. That's our A term. Okay. So this one is going to be negative 5. So I'm going to have a U minus 5. That's one of them. And then for this one, that's going to be a 2U plus 3. There we go. All right, so I've got this stuff. Uh, that is all equal to zero. Now I'm going to resubstitute the x squared back in for you. So I've got 2x squared plus 3, and x squared minus 5 equals zero. All right, uh, from here, we can go ahead and set each of those factors equal to zero and solve. So 2x squared plus 3 equals zero x squared minus 5 equals 0. I'll solve this one first. It's easier. x squared equals 5. And then uh, square root both sides. So we get x equals plus or minus root 5. That's two of our answers. Plus or minus. Over here, we'll subtract 3. 2x squared equals negative 3. Divide by 2 x squared equals negative 3 over 2, and then square root both sides. So x equals plus or minus root negative 3 over 2. And then we can pull the i out. So x equals uh, plus or minus i root 3 over 2. All right. Uh, technically, you're not supposed to leave your answer like that, but I'm not doing it like that. That's good for now. 